assalamu alaikum students uh, i'm shuja ahmed and i welcome you all in my second lecture and this lecture is actually the con uh, continuation of uh, nouns what we were discussing in our previous lecture and uh, this lecture is uh, designed for countable and uncountable nouns and the functions how can we use noun in a sentence uh, i'm moving ahead right now uh, we have in front of us uh, the definition of countable nouns what is a countable noun so countable nouns are those nouns which can be counted separately these could be objects people ideas uh, uh, and uh, some other uh, things uh, which can be counted we can use numbers and uh, the uh, the indefinite articles a and n with countable nouns and countable nouns also have their plural forms for example i have written here that a cat that is actually a cat is countable noun so we have here three cats cats a plural form of cats we have a newspaper and afterwards we have five newspapers this is also plural form now how can we make a plural form of a noun so they have their plural and usually we make uh, uh, a plural form by adding s uh, at the end of a noun but a part of these all uh, this this uh, this technique we have some other ways to make plural forms of nouns now uh, nouns which are ending in o c h s h s s or x we add es to form their plural forms uh, uh, for example we have tomato that is uh, a noun which is ending in o so we make its uh, plural form by adding es at last we have brush its ending at uh, sh we have made a plural form here and it's es over here uh, furthermore we have examples boxes watches and mangoes now uh, when we talk about those nouns which uh, which which are ending in y and uh, uh, that 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 y is followed by a consonant we uh, drop the y and we add ies we drop that y which is at last we uh, and we uh, Uh, we exchange that y with ies and make a plur plural form of noun and here we have example now uh, we we eliminated this y and uh, we have add here ies so it makes uh, the plural form of babies we have countries and flies and keep in your mind that this fly is actual noun and uh, we have uh, ladies we have cities so these are the plural forms of uh, nouns which are ending in y and followed by a consonant uh, next we have a noun which is ending in y and uh, it's uh, it's it, it is uh, followed uh, a vowel okay uh, like like we have boy so we have to add s at last to make its plural form like we have already discussed in our first example of cats and newspapers similar like that we add s after that this y uh, which is uh, followed by um, a vowel next we have the nouns which are ending in f or f e in some special cases for nouns ending in f or f we remove f or f e and adds v e s like we have loofs the plural form of loof we have uh, wives although it's not better to <laughs> add wife another wife but <laughs> it's a plural form of wife we have wives we have wolves calves and house furthermore we have different examples shelves thieves uh, etc but uh, hoof scarf and wolf these could be uh, those noun in which we uh, we make uh, we, we uh, don't make any difference we can add s f after them and we can make their plural forms or we can eliminate f and uh, we will add v e s after them so it could be the plural form of noun but uh, in in both cases we have the both right examples there is no difference between these two examples uh, we can make hooves by either way hooves or hooves although city uh, we have some exceptions in this case of plural forms like cliff we will only add s afterwards safe we have safes like that few nouns from uh, form their plural form by uh, vowel change like foot when we make its plural it it becomes feet mouse mice man men tooth teeth 
Now, how can we measure the uncountable nouns? As we discussed earlier, that counts which cannot be counted. We, uh, we tell them uncountable nouns, and uh, although these are not singular, not plural, but we treat them as uh, uncountable nouns, uh, as singular nouns. Sorry. So we cannot count water. We can say water or some water, but we we uh, cannot say one water or a water or two waters. A definite mar uh, article the can be used uh, with them. Some and any can be used with uncountable or plural nouns, although uncountable nouns can be used alone as well. Okay, uh, these are, we can say, these could be the co quantifiers of uh, uh, the uncountable nouns, some and some other, uh, we will find out afterwards. While uh, much and little or a little are used with uncountable nouns only. So, there is some oil in bottle. I just want to clear here that when we have... Um, an index in which uh, we have a very least amount of something and which is uncountable might be liquid or something else we will say it uh, that uh, the uh, we have we have uh, a little water in the glass so this could be the least quantity of anything and when we have a little bit more further a little bit more quantity of that thing we will say that we have some oil or some uh, water in a glass some oil in bottle like that one and we have uh, so, so we have some more quantity of uh, uh, of uh, any liquid or anything which is uncountable more than a little we may we use much for it for uncountable nouns okay so i don't take much coffee it could be uh, the next form of it so we have different quantifiers to uh, to uh, to have an idea about the uncountable nouns uncon uncountable nouns like we have a little we have much we have some some can be used either with countable and uncountable nouns but here i have used here with uh, with uh, uncountable nouns any is generally used with negative and interrogative sentences there isn't any cheese is there any ice cream in box in the box do you know any jokes in some cases uncountable nouns can be treated as countable like here is uncountable noun but it can be said i have found one here in my bread uh, similar like that we have uh, news that is uh, also uncountable noun but we we can say that i have uh, a bit of news for you or i have a news for you we can use but generally we count it uh, uncountable noun functions how can we uh, use a noun in our sentences a noun can work as subject of a sentence or an object examples are here as subject that ahmed throws the ball at stumps now Ahmed is also the, the doer of an action in this sentence and in active voice we say uh, doer of an action is subject of this sentence. So Ahmed is uh, used here as uh, the subject. Uh, same as Ali we have here and we have Sara in this sentence as well. It can be used as an object. So now we can say that Ali, he was called by police or the police called Ali. Uh, Ali. So uh, Ali is the object in this sentence and Ali is also a noun so we can say that now a uh, noun can be used as an object in a sentence uh, Sara served tea to Ahmed and Ahmed is object in this sentence it can also be used in uh, possessive case Javed's book Meshal's uniform and something else students thank you very much for your precious time and uh, I hope that you will enjoy this uh, this uh, lesson as well we'll continue our practice of making different videos and I uh, need your advice to make it further more better thank you very much and Allah Hafiz